It's almost time for the weekend. Get a head start on it with Family Feud. I'm Lucky McCoy, and I'm in the mood for a feud. Are you ready to meet our families? This family wants to win it all. Ready to make this game a right royal rumble, it's the Kings. Our families will be battling it out to answer your surveys. Whoever scores the most points goes on to fast money for the chance to win a lot of cash and a brand new car. Okay, folks, here we go. We're going to start with the face-off. Can I have someone from each family join me, please? There's six answers up there. Buzz in first to get a shot at answering our survey. If you can find the top answer, you'll choose if your family plays or passes the round. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name something you don't like to see on your spouse's face. You're up first. That's what you're going with? Show me the answer. Lipstick. It's on the board what we could do better. What will you go for? Name something you don't like to see on your spouse's face. That's good. Is it up there? Show me. Sunburn. Dang, not up there. Good try. Time to decide. Play or pass. Okay, let's get back to your family. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Yep. Did anyone in the survey say this? Dirt. That's not on the board. So you've earned yourself a strike. Oops. All right, you're up. Huh? All right. Is that answer good enough? Frown. Nice. Yes. Name something you don't like to see on your spouse's face. Yeah, Here we go, then. Our survey says... Hair. That's at the top. Oh, yeah. And now it's your guess. Is that one we've already had? Strike two. Okay, people, let's be careful here. You can still do it. Look sharp. Another strike and you lose control of this round.
You want to pass? Okay, then. It's time for the other team to have a crack at this. We just need one answer, and if it's on the board, the round is yours. You could steal all the points with this answer. It's worth a shot. Let's take a look. Food. That's what we want. You win, so the points go over here. Let's tidy up those pesky missing answers. What was six? Snot. What's the fifth answer? Guilt. So, where are we with the scores? We've only played one round so far, and this game is already blowing the roof off the studio. Get ready to go full Nick Cage, because it's time for the face-off. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. There's six answers up there. Get ready to buzz in. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Name a part of your Thanksgiving celebration that you often prepare the day before. You're in first. What you got? Okie dokie. Is it on the board? Travel. No points. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Good. Okay. Let's see if that's a good answer. Candy. That's good enough for me. You want to play or do you want to pass and force them to play? They don't want to take this one on, so they're throwing it on over to you. Have you got something for us? Said with confidence. Survey says... That's your first strike. Two more and you're done. Oh. Uh -oh. Have you got some feud for thought? Uh. Did our survey agree? Cook. Another strike. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Oh. Ah, yes. And our survey says... Shop. Ooh, that's your third strike, folks. 
The other family gets a chance to steal. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Name a part of your Thanksgiving celebration that you often prepare the day before. That's your answer. Show me that answer. Cranberry sauce. That's what we were looking for. You've racked up another round. Let's see those missing answers. What was hiding behind six? Sweet potato. Let's see number three. Stuffing. What was hiding behind slot number two? Dessert. I can't believe we couldn't find the top answer. What was it? Turkey. All right, it's time for a score update. Hope you all can get some points on the board next round. <laughs> Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. I need one person from each family to join me up front. We've got four answers to find. All right, let's sweeten the pot a bit. All the point values for this question have been doubled. We took a survey, 100 people. Name a kind of meter. Fast buzzing. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Yeah. Understood. Let's check the board. Parking. You found the number one answer. It's make up your mind time, pass or play. Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things going. It's your turn to guess. Yeah? That's what you think, huh? Time to find out if it's up there. Electric. Good job, buddy. Yeah. We're still looking for two more answers. Oh. Answer accepted. Our survey said, gas. The board is almost clear. Cool. Oh, nice. What do you think? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good answer. Okay, sure. Is that the last answer on the board? Water. And that, my friends, is how you clear the board. This family have bagged the win. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. There's a change at the top of the scoreboard. Let's get things going with a face-off. I want two contestants to come and play. We want six answers. Now the points are worth triple, so this game is still up for grabs. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. Which of the seven dwarves can you relate to most?
You're up. Okay, then. Did our survey say it? Duh! Well, you hit the target, but it's not a bullseye. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. We have an answer. Our survey says, Grumpy. We're on top. So, are you gonna play or pass? Okay, play passes over. Your guess, buddy. Right. Oh, yeah. Interesting answer. Let's see what the survey says. Happy. It's on the board. I bet you've got a great answer for us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling lucky? Is that one of the remaining answers? Sleepy! Well done. Yeah. You got anything for us? then there aren't many answers left is it there sneezy it's not there which means you get a strike uh. two more answers up there what do you think sure thing Let's see if the board's got it. Bashful. You're doing great. Yay! Good answer. Which of the seven dwarves can you relate to most? Um... Right. Oh, nice. All right, let's try it. Is this the last answer we're looking for? Dopey. It's yeah, a clean yeah. sweep. That's two in a row for y'all. Keep it up. And now it's time for one last look at the scores. We have a winner. Congratulations. You folks are moving on to our final round. The Kings, you put up a great fight, but you didn't make it today. It's time to go for the big dough in fast money. I need two people. You'll need to team up with your best player. Who's it going to be? All right, it's time to play. I'll ask you five questions. You give me five answers. Try to think of the answers with the highest number of responses. Get more than 200 points, and you'll win the grand prize. Your time starts now. When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll bite into? Name something people try to peek through. Name something the big bad wolf would hate to discover Little Red Riding Hood was carrying in her basket.
When women get bored, name something they change the color of. Name something in your house with four legs. That's everything. Now let's see how well your partner does with Fast Money. Now it's your turn. You'll be answering the same questions. You can't repeat anything that's already been said, because if you do, you'll have to make another guess. Start the clock. When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll bite into? Name something people try to peek through. Name something the big bad wolf would hate to discover Little Red Riding Hood was carrying in her basket. When women get bored, Name something they change the color of. Name something in your house with four legs. When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll bite into? We're all out of questions. That's all the answers you can give. Well done. Right, let's get back here on stage and see how you both did. For starters, we asked, when you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll bite into? This is what you said. Those look like some mighty fine answers. Number one answer. Next, we wanted to know, name something people try to peek through. You answered. Let's see what our survey said. That's a top answer. Great job. Next, we asked you, Name something the big bad wolf would hate to discover Little Red Riding Hood was carrying in her basket. These were your answers. I think we might be good on this one. We found the most popular one. Number four. When women get bored, name something they change the color of. Here's what you said. Let's see what the survey says. That's it. It's a win. How do you like that? We've got ourselves a big winner. Let's see the rest of the answers. 
You've just picked up 20,000 big ones. Way to go. Thanks a thousand times for playing. See you back here soon. Goodbye. So, are we gonna do this again? Or should I head back to my dressing room?